Hey, welcome back, everybody. As we continue to track the course of the ever-changing course and direction and strength of Olivia, um, we heard from Justin and uh, Dr. Allison Nugent a short while ago. And once again, we want to go back to a hurricane expert over there on Maui, David Yeomans. And David, as I understand it, uh, you're going to be with us throughout the entire night and uh, kind of be our eyes and ears and our, our, our senses as the storm continues to build up and uh, make its way through where you're standing, true? Yes, sir, and happy to give you and also the viewers a good look at the worsening wind. Our car is still kind of rocking in it. Uh, you can probably hear it howling a bit in the microphone. And even between the rain bands, we're starting to see the wind pick up. Some light rain picking up now as well as another rain band, it looks like, on radar approaches near the harbor here on the north side of Maui. Let me take you over here to the roadway. We've seen a lot of cars out here earlier. Uh, in this area overlooking the harbor who were hanging out, listening to some music, watching the storm approach. Most of those folks have left, and it looks like the traffic is starting to wind down on the actual roadway as well. Our photographer, Gus, is swinging the camera around so you can see a good visual of the wind out there. You see that American flag there in the distance? Granted, that is a little higher than ground level, about two or three stories up, but you can see the wind is really whipping uh, that flag around. We're kind of perfectly positioned here on the north shore of the island for the wind to get that funneling effect that Justin and the team back in the studio have been warning us about, funneled between the two mountains here on Maui, uh, coming on shore from the north, blowing to the south, and kind of accelerating here between the two mountains. Looks like we got somebody here walking around, uh, but minimal traffic uh, on this highway here near the harbor. Looks like folks are heeding the warnings. The tropical storm warning, of course, still in effect in this area. And of course, if you don't have to be out and about, best just to stay home for the rest of the evening. And hopefully you have off work or school tomorrow in this area as well. Now, we've had a pretty good amount of rain here uh, on and off. It's not raining as hard as it has been most of the last couple of hours as we speak. But with the amount of rain that's even fallen here down on the coast and in the valley, you can bet that a lot more rain has been falling up in the mountains, especially the higher peaks of the Big Island and Maui where we stand. So it's a good bet that the streams around here are starting to rise. We were discussing earlier how some of the streams actually uh, already had a lot of water in them from Lane weeks ago and from the periodic showers that we've had since then. Uh, you can bet those streams are starting to rise. And if you live near one of those, extra reason to just be mindful, keep the kids indoors, keep yourself indoors. And again, if you don't have to go anywhere through the rest tonight, just a better idea to not. Now, Justin and the team, we were uh, discussing how the track has shifted a little bit. Looks like the latest advisory has a bit of a west and southwestward movement, still meaning that the center of this disorganized tropical storm may kind of skip Maui to the southeast, potentially going there in the channel or even close to the west side of the big island. But it does not mean that we're getting spared from the impacts. The wind field is still overtaking the island uh, over the next several hours. And some of the worst of it here on Maui expected during about 1 to 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning on the forward speed that it has right now. So we're going to keep you posted. Next time we check in, I'll bet it's going to be raining harder. Should be a little bit windier as well. And hopefully we'll have more to show you as you stay up with us here on KHON2. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I'm meteorologist David Yeomans.